Welcome. Today we'll learn how to create a large language model system that can read thousands of PDF documents and give quick answers with proper citations. I'll show you how to build this system easily and quickly. For our project, we'll use two main tools from Google Cloud. The first is Vertex AI, which is Google's complete system for artificial intelligence and machine learning. The second is Google Cloud Storage, which we'll use to store our PDF files. While this system can work with many types of files, today we'll focus specifically on PDFs. To begin our demonstration, we'll download some technical reports about popular open source AI models. We'll use reports about three models, Gemma, Llama, and Quen. After downloading these reports, we'll put them in a new storage space in Google Cloud and build our AI helper, which we call an agent, to work with these documents. It's important to note that while we're only using three PDFs in this demonstration, the system can handle thousands of documents with ease. Once we have our documents ready, we'll move to the agent builder service in Google Cloud. Since we're starting a completely new project, you can follow along with each step. The first thing we need to do is activate the API. In the Google Cloud system, we can see several different types of AI applications we can create. These include search systems, chat systems, and recommendation systems. All of these can be powered by your own data. We'll start with the more advanced option called Dialogflow, which offers extra features for chatbots, like connecting with Slack or working with complex data storage systems. However, we'll also touch on the other chatbot builder interface currently in preview. When setting up our Dialogflow system, we need to choose a location type. While there are several options, we'll select the Global Multi-Region option, which gives us the best availability for our service. The next step is creating our data store in Google Cloud Storage, which we haven't set up yet. Let's walk through this process together by going to the Google Cloud Storage page to create what's called a bucket. This is just a storage space for our files. An important note for professionals, if you were building this for a real business system, you would typically use a tool called Terraform, which is an infrastructure as code tool. This would help set up resources more efficiently than doing it manually in the Google Cloud console. However, for this demonstration, we'll use the console directly because it makes it easier to understand what's happening. We can also check our system setup using an evaluation tool to make sure we're following best practices. While we won't go into detail about this today, it's worth mentioning that these AI agents need regular updates, so it's good to have an automatic process for updating them. The evaluation tool tells us that using Dialogflow significantly improves what our agent can do, which confirms our choice to use it. For our storage setup, we'll choose the US multi-region option and use the standard storage class. We can skip the default soft delete policy since we don't need to keep older versions of our files or create backups. After setting this up, we can simply drag our three PDF files into our storage bucket and select it in the Agent Builder interface. While there are advanced settings available for how the system processes PDFs, the default settings work well for most situations. 
Unless you're working with unusual PDF formats, it's best to keep these default settings to keep things simple. After clicking Create, when we open our new application, we'll enter the Dialogflow CX console where our AI agent lives. The first important check for our new chatbot is to verify that the data store is properly configured. We do this by going to Edit Data Stores, where we should see our unstructured documents listed in the Data Store field. There's an important note here. When you update a data store, the changes don't appear instantly. The system needs some time to process the updates, so we need to be patient. After waiting a short while, we can test our chatbot using the Test Agent interface. To demonstrate how it works, let's ask a specific question. How many parameters are in the Quinn model? The chatbot tells us that the Quinn model comes in two versions, one with 14 billion parameters and another with 7 billion parameters. To check if this information is accurate, we can look at the original research paper, which confirms these numbers. The paper specifically mentions that they have released both 7 billion and 14 billion parameter pre-trained models. The interface we're using is part of the traditional Dialogflow CX experience. It's quite powerful. We can add different types of entities for tasks like processing orders or analyzing products. There's a complete set of tools for integration, testing, development, and various resources we can use to build a flow, even though our current setup only has one node. But there's something new and exciting, the conversational agent's experience, which works with the same agent we just created. To try this newer interface, we simply toggle the simulator, which many people find more user-friendly. When we ask the same question about the Quen model's parameters in this interface, we get our answer plus a custom payload. One important feature in both interfaces is that we receive a citation. The system tells us exactly which PDF and which page, page 16, it found the information on. We can even open that specific page to see where the answer came from, confirming the information about the 7 billion and 14 billion parameter models. This new system offers a simpler way to build conversation flows. We can do interesting things like ask follow-up questions, and we have access to tools that let us connect with different systems. We can call APIs, which are ways to communicate with other computer systems, access data stores, and run various functions. This makes the dialog flow system much simpler to use when you're building a straightforward LLM-based agent. One of the most powerful aspects of this system is how it can handle both simple and complex tasks. While we've demonstrated it with just three research papers, remember that you could use the same approach with thousands of documents. The system will still be able to quickly find relevant information and provide accurate answers with proper citations, making it extremely useful for organizations with large document collections. If you'd like to support the channel, consider starting a free trial of our new design tool, which is linked in the description, and let us know what you think. We'll include the diagram file in the description as well. Thank you very much for watching to the end, and please enjoy responsibly.